everyone cnc keith here with yet again another diy cnc video in this video i'm going to go over the f5 cam button in the acorn cnc 12 software this is a little documented button here and it has the ability to have some very useful features especially to oems rebuilders and power users the cam button currently when you push it just starts intercon centroid's conversational programming software and you can start programming parts which is really cool um, this cam menu can also be expanded to have a whole bunch more buttons down at the bottom of it a whole bunch more choices and it's controlled with a text file called cnccams.txt and this text file enables you to add a button to the cam menu that will run pretty much any command that you can run on the windows command prompt now this is a pretty useful feature because this allows you to run windows commands uh, within cnc12 so you can do things as simple as opening up a pdf manual to more sophisticated multiple line and commands that you could do with the windows command prompt to for instance there's a tech bulletin on this turning on and off the w axis by pushing a button in the cam menu uh, where effectively what you're doing is copying um, files from one location to another via the command line uh, to achieve the uh, effect of turning on and off a fourth axis so it's a pretty powerful tool and if you got a little bit of command line uh, skill and knowledge it's then cool to be able to create a button inside the cam menu to do those things to automate things to make things easier so um, let's go check it out here I'm gonna go to the CNCM directory and I've got the latest version of uh, CNC 12 running here with the brand new VCP 2.0, which uh, I'm going to go over in depth, which is also very customizable. But this old feature here that I'm talking about now has been around for a very long time, being able to add buttons into the cam menu. Uh, it's a little crude, but it's uh, effective, and I think um, it warrants a video here to go over it. So this file right here, cnccams.txt, is the file that CNC12 looks at to determine what to do here when you press the F5 button. So let's just go ahead and open that. And you're going to notice when I open it, there's nothing in it. So when CNC12 opens this file, cnccams.txt, or looks at it, I mean, when you press the F5 cam button, and if there's nothing in it, what what it does is what it does right now which i demonstrated earlier it just goes straight to intercon and asks you to start programming a part well if you there's a tech bulletin on this if you edit the cnccams.txt file you can add buttons to this menu so i've prepared a sample file already um, i got it sitting on my desktop and we're going to go ahead and install it here i'm going to open it up in notepad and this is what a sample cnccams.txt file, and I'll put this in the description, and I'll write up a document uh, on this as well to explain what all this stuff does. But there's a very specific format, and basically the name of the button is right there, and then the description of the button is right there, separated with a colon. And then for what you want the button to do is the next line, and you indent it a space, one space, and then here is the command prompt that normally if you if you can type if you can open up, open up a windows command prompt and and paste this command in or type this command and it runs from the windows command prompt it's going to run right here so this is a classic windows command prompt to open up a pdf with whatever um whether adobe is installed or not whatever software is available on the computer to open a pdf it'll open it with that software um, the default setting put it that way so that's uh and here's several other examples of the same thing here's opening up a vfd manual here's opening up a schematic so what i've done is i've made a button in the cams menu that with one button press opens up the operator manual and then another button press will open up the vfd manual for this system and then another button opens up the schematic for this system so oems and uh, rebuilders 
it's a really good idea to actually put this information right in this the CNC control hard drive so that the user has this at their fingertips. Um, and I produce and I uh, provide a bunch of other examples here. Here's an example of how to open up a specific folder using Explorer, how to go out to a hyperlink. Um, so this obviously requires an internet connection. And here's just opening up a picture, a PNG in this case. It could be a JPEG, doesn't matter, uh, etc. So let's go put this down. Let's save this in the CNCM directory. And I'm going to shut down CNC12. And we're going to navigate to the CNCM directory. And we're going to save it there. And it's going to say, hey, there's already one there. I'm going to go, yes, replace it. And it says, hey, that's already open in Notepad, so let's go ahead and get rid of it. File, save as, let's try that again. Go to CNCM and save it. All righty, so there we have that saved. Now let's go, um, and if you did this with CNC 12 open, you're going to have to shut it down and open it back up to have the changes effect. Now CNC 12 starts and it read that file and look what happens when I hit F5. All of a sudden all these buttons show up and all these buttons just correspond to that text file. Here's the name of the button, the description that I typed in, and then whenever I hit any of these it does the command that's directly below it, in this case right here. So number one is the operator manual. Well I have went ahead and placed the operator manual in a specific location on this hard drive. There's the path. And so when I hit this button, it's going to open up the operator manual. And there we go. There's the CNC 12 mil operator manual. Pretty cool. Let's check out the other buttons. I'm going to go cam, and this is the VFD manual. So I went ahead and put a PDF copy of the VFD for this system. So I always have that there handy to have. I don't have to go on the internet and search for it. And so there's an example of... So the schematic, same thing. I went ahead and put a copy of the schematic. Here's the schematic for this system, etc. Let's see what else we got. Um, if I want to um, have one of these buttons just navigate to a folder, in this case, um, I had it navigate to the folder where all the manuals are. So I stuffed all the manuals right here under CNCM resources manual. I just started putting pictures and PFDs and stuff. So this is where the manuals are located. And what I did is I created a button that just went straight to that folder. And then these buttons here are go to those individual files in those folders. Um, also another example, if you have uh, want to get out to the internet, um, I can go ahead and have any one of these buttons open up a web page. And here, this one, I had it open up. My internet connection is pretty slow here today. Uh, how to register for the forum. Pretty cool. So lastly, you know, this Acorn Docs just goes to the forum where all the docs are. Here's an example of just opening up a picture. Um, so I click on that, and it'll open up any picture I want. I just happen to have using that uh, nice Acorn photo there. And lastly, just how to open up Explorer on its own, just to the default directory, is the last button. And in this case, Windows has set up the default to Documents whenever you open Explorer, so that's where that button um, goes to. So that's it in a nutshell. I will post this um, on the forum, and in the description of this video, give a link to that information. Now, obviously, you can do a lot more sophisticated stuff than just these simple things right here that I've done because, again, anything you can do on the Windows command prompt, pretty much anything, you can do out of uh, the CAMS menu here, which is a cool little feature. Good luck. Have fun. Talk to you later.